Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about method overriding in Java. Now this is different than overloading where I did a video on that a couple of videos ago. So go check that out if that's what you're interested in. So overriding is basically replacing a method in a subclass or a derived class. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So, in object-oriented programming, we can have an inheritance hierarchy. So imagine we have a user class, then we inherit this user class from student. Anything defined in the user class is going to float down to the derived classes. So, for example, if we have a method work, these are also going to have this method work. So any teachers we create have the capability of working. I mean, I don't personally know if students can work or not, but at least in this diagram, they're capable of working because it's inherited from user. But what if we wanted the teacher or the student to have a different type of work? For example, the teacher might go do research or whatever teachers do, and students might go drink beer. So we can actually override this work method inside a teacher and student. Now you don't have to do anything fancy to override a method in a derived class. You just have to put that same method, so the signatures have to match, in the derived class and it will automatically invoke the, the derived class version. Now inside a student, let's say we did not define the work method. If we created a new student down here and said student.work, it's not gonna get that work method from the student class, so it's going to be getting it from the user class. So it's gonna get the more general work method. So that's the whole concept of method overriding, basically derived classes giving new versions for methods that were originally defined in the, the base class. So hopefully that makes sense. In the next video, we're gonna get some examples of this, so go check it out and be sure to subscribe. Peace out.